I'm Marianne McLaughlin, your host for this episode of Galas and Giving, Shaw TV's spotlight on local charity events. Tonight, we're shaking things up a bit at the Bricks Bar and Grill for the Kings and Queens Fashion and Drag Show fundraiser. The night is in support of E4C's United Way campaign. music, and some spectacular entertainment. An evening of letting go and having fun. And don't forget the flowers that bring in the first of mine. Cause if you treat me right, I'll be the first of my life. But this colorful event is all in the name of a very serious cause. A fundraiser for E4C's multifaceted homeless supports division, organizers also wanted to highlight the LGBTQ community, a large segment of the population facing the struggles of homelessness. They are faced with judgments and stereotypes from the landlords that were trying to, you know, work with us to get them into an apartment. So it's, it's a lot of work and there's a lot of barriers and judgments that need to be broken down to really help all people out of homelessness and this is one of them. Although not a part of the LGBTQ community, one of these individuals is Laura Curtis, a user of E4C's Shelter Exit Program. I had the chance to learn about her journey out of homelessness the other day. I don't know, what's your favorite room in your house? I guess that's a weird question. I think they're all my favorite rooms because I can have a life in each one of them. And I couldn't have a life when I was out there. After a year of homelessness, Laura Curtis is thrilled to have a place she can call her own. But life on the street at that time was surprisingly an easy choice to make. I don't seem to have much success in relationships. My last relationship ended in a domestic dispute and I had to um, face the fact that I wasn't given too many choices other than to leave because I wasn't going to be the girl that stayed. From friends' couches to sleepless nights at local shelters, Curtis did what she could to stay warm and fed. That's until she found support through E4C's shelter exit team. They helped by uh, paying a damage deposit, a rent, utility hookups, a starter kit with groceries, dishes, vacuum cleaner, household cleaning products. We try and help them um, with housing so that um, they're able to kind of continue on with their life and you know achieve their goals. A fresh start Curtis found hard to embrace. I gotta say knowing that I like it took me a couple of weeks to, to really trust that this is mine and so I'm trying to make every room my favorite room like my kitchen has red curtains and I put butterflies all over them. As for her future it's one Curtis can already see clearly. Light in motion, so as it paints itself, it leaves a trail. I always loved photography, and I took training in school, and I'm taking more training that uh, I've been gifted with this winter. The thing I really like about these is they're all subject to interpretation. Anything that you see in these, somebody else will see something else. Uh, some interesting, interesting Im images come up. Putting her newfound talents to work, Curtis has also decided to give back, donating 50% of proceeds from her photos to E4C. I want to be supportive and I want to give back because I feel that I would probably be in far, far worse straits if I hadn't received the help when I did. It was timely and it was Swift. Not only did Curtis provide a number of these photos for the silent auction, she's hosting the evening's fashion show put on by local designer and friend Margarita Castro. I've always dreamt of doing something like this, but I never thought that I was good enough or capable of. And this time, uh, Miss Laura Curtis, anytime I try to push away from any of this, she just kept on giving me more and like just giving me more and more reasons to not to. Not just her, but then other people. Up for sale as part of the fundraiser, Castro's designs fired up the runway, making way for the kings and queens of the night. So how does it make you feel to have E4C's event tonight, kind of bringing light to the LGBTQ community? This is the first time that we've actually been invited to be part of this and it has been amazing. Like the people that are here are phenomenal. It's it's getting out and networking with other organizations to help our community grow and become a united uh, venture. 
Well, next year, I hope to see you back again if they have the same event. And I might have to step up my dress game, get more glitter going on, but hopefully... Girl, you need some shoes so that I don't have to <laughs> bend down. <laughs> Despite my footwear failure, this year's Kings and Queens fashion and drag show definitely didn't fall short of success. If you would like to make a donation to E4C and one of its many programs, head to their website at e4calberta.org. Now, if you would like us to cover your next event, you can contact us at galasandgiving at shaw.ca. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Galas and Giving. I'm Brianne McLaughlin.